All right, so I'm going to build a booth. This is good news. But the question is, how am I going to do that? OK, so the decision has been made to build my own booth. Right. OK, so like I said in the intro, how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to cut a bit of a long story short because you can always do your own research on the Internet to find out information on, on soundproofing and things like that. Now, I've already done that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get straight into the build because I have already spent some hours uh, researching on soundproofing, on floating floors, on uh, soundproof systems and stuff like that. And I've already bought some materials and I've already got it in the garage and it's ready to build. So what I'm going to do is get straight into the first part of the build which we're going to go into now. OK, so watch this and I hope you learn something and you could get some ideas uh, of how to build your own booth. Now, in the description of the video I, uh, down below, I'm going to put the details of where I got my materials from. So if you want to do your research yourself, you can do. OK, so let's get stuck in. All right. So this is when the truck arrived with all the new gear for building the booth. And he's the driver. He's just about to unload it and put it into my garage. And there it is. A nice, tidy garage. It hasn't actually looked like that for quite some time. But there's all the gear in the garage all ready to go. And then this next shot is showing the truck on his way out. And then the next one is my kind of workspace. Now you can see I've already got some things built there ready to go. Now this is the room where uh, the booth is going to be. It's going to be in the left corner there. And this video shows you exactly where it's going to go. And you can hear the noise coming through that window. This is why I need a booth. All right, so this is the base that I've built. It's using 18 mil OSB3 and the studs here are uh, 38 mil by 68 mil or 63 mil, something like that. And it's a basic, you know, simple structure using uh, brackets and screws. And uh, the width there is enough to fit in uh, the fiberglass that's going to go into the left hand side panel and then the other side is going to have to be cut short a little bit. And this is the first section of the base used for the booth. OK, so in terms of my floor, I'm going to have to separate the floor from the booth. So I'm going to make what's called a floating floor, which I'm sure many of you have heard about. Well, how do you do that? Well, I've bought a product by Uralex Acoustics called a U-boat floating floor. Now let's open it up and see what it looks like. A bit later. Okay, so come and have a look. So this is it. This is what's called a U-boat. For obvious reasons, it looks like a U. And a boat because it floats, right? So the idea is with this is that you're going to stick, let's say I have my I have my stud for my flooring. This will sit on the top or underneath of it like this. And you put several of them on there like that. And then it will sit on the floor. So it will actually separate the floor from the board. So we have a floating floor. So that is the idea. This box here contains 50 and I don't, it's not necessarily cheap. It's uh, 120 pounds for this box of 50. But like I said, I think this is professional quality. Um, I've seen on YouTube other people using it in their studios, uh, in their building of their studios. So why not do the same? You know, I'm setting myself up to be a professional. So why not use the same equipment as them? So this is going to create my floating floor. All right, so you shall see in the rest of my build how I actually use these and um, you'll see also what it looks like at the end of the build as well. So there you go, there's the floating floor. Now 
Now you can see here that I'm nailing into the sides because if I nail into the bottom then that will basically defeat the purpose of having a floating floor. What would happen here is that if there's any shock wave that would come through the floor then it would go through the nail and up into the wood of the base and then transfer as a vibration a low bass frequency into the booth which is what we don't want. So therefore that's why I'm nailing into the sides to prevent that from happening. Job done, good lad. Now this is the finished product. This is the floor with all the U-boats attached. And as you can see, it's also got the fiberglass in there. Now this is 50 mil thick fiberglass, which is also a density of 100 cubic meters density, which is pretty, pretty dense. And that's under the floor with the U-boats so that we get some sound insulation from the floor because I do have heavy trucks going on outside and vibrations can come through the floor into the room that way. Now I've also added here some plastic covering. This is just to make sure any dust that may fall off of the fiberglass does not fall onto the floor and find its way floating around into the room. So I am kind of protecting myself and my lungs from that there by covering it up. And I've also added some gaffer tape here just to make sure that it sticks and doesn't fall out. So that's now what it looks like on the underneath with all the U-boats and coverings. And now I'm gonna flip it over and put it into position and you will see what it looks like in the corner of the room where I've placed it. And it's an important place to place it because once I start fitting the actual walls to it, it's gonna be incredibly heavy and I'm not gonna be able to move it. So the position of this is quite important. I've also got another section of floor to add to this base as well, which you'll see in later videos. But for now, this is what I've built. This is the first stage. There it is in the corner and we've started. All right, now it's onwards and upwards from here. Zooming in here, you can see on the floor there that the base is actually floated off the floor by probably about a centimeter. And it makes all the difference. You know, that means that any shock waves that are coming through the floor are not gonna be transferred through the base and into the booth. So now that's isolated or decoupled, you could say, thanks to the U-boats. So 120 pound investment, I hope it pays off. Okay, good. So I've actually started. Now this is awesome. That means I'm gonna get this completed because I ain't gonna stop when I've started. So now we've got the base done. There's a little bit more to the base to do, which I think will be in the next video. And then there's the rest of it to build. So if you do want any more details, then you can always drop me a comment or ask me a question and I'll answer no problem. If you want me to show more videos on more details, I can do that too. But for now, this just gets the first one out on starting the build. And the next one is just gonna be on the next part. So if you've enjoyed this, please hit the like button Please subscribe because it always gives me enthusiasm and a boost to do more videos and also hit the little bell button so that you get notifications when my next video is released. All right, so for this one, we're done and I'll catch you on the next one. And I hope you are learning something because if you are gonna build your own booth, I really want you to be able to do it properly because I've spent quite a lot of time looking over the internet trying to get this information and I found it really hard. So I spent a lot of time researching and putting this one together. And I think it's pretty good. <laughs>